This is Young Money Radio. Young Moolah, baby. With the very best in music, collab and sports. Tunchi, Lil Wayne on Apple Music. Now, today is going to be a wild one. I'm already having Vegas flashbacks, and you already know what happens in Vegas does not stay in Vegas. It happens, it comes, it goes, and it happens over and over again. Uh, I, I guess that's just for me. I'm going to be joined by my homeboys, my bros, my homies, my twins, Benji and Joe Madden from Good Charlotte. Man, if you don't know nothing about Good Charlotte, then you don't know nothing. I hit the stage with these dudes on the When We Were Young festival a few weeks back. And as you know, it was crazy. If you ain't see it, you need to go check it out. Let's bring out today's special guest, motherfucking very special guest. These boys have been entertaining over 30 years. Over 30 years. How old are you, nigga? Over 30 years. They are true creators, music, streaming platform, podcast. They've done it all and continue to do it all. Young Money Radio welcomes Benji and Joe Madden from Good Charlotte. And I am the third motherfucking twin. <laughs> How y'all feeling? Man? Feeling great. Thanks for having us, dude. Is this episode two? Yeah, this is. I love it. Yeah. Ah, yes. I love it. Yes. You're just warming up. Yeah. How's the this fam? Is, fam's great. great. Good. Yeah. Good. Yes. Dropped my little girl off at school this morning. You know, life is good. Girl, dad. Yeah. Yeah. I the know, best. I know that life. The best, man. Yes, I know that life. It makes you a different person. <laughs> how you doing, man? How how have you uh, how you been? We saw each other last time. We saw each other was Vegas. Yes. That was that was a pinnacle moment for us. Man. Full circle. Full circle moment for us. You know, we told you. Yes, yeah, you did. We told you how big of fans we've been from day one. Yeah. But that was a real moment for us. We appreciate you coming out and no. doing that with us. I man, first of all, I appreciate the the opportunity. So when I when, it, when yeah. she told me, when Karen told me about it, she was like, you know, good. She's like, you know, good Charlotte. They were, I was like, what? Do I know? Good? She was like, like, well, can't you like? They want you to come out. If it might see if you want to come out, like, can I? Can you ask them? Can I perform one of their songs with them? Yeah. Uh, well, yeah. Hey, I don't. I don't want to put anyone's business out there, but I just need to tell everybody in the world that. You didn't charge it. You didn't even. You just came out. <laughs> come on, man. It's you just love, showed up, man. I come mean, on, that man. is love. Y'all good shot. Yeah. Come on, bro. I mean, come it on. was really special. We are, you know, you know, we've been. We told you we've been fans from the beginning of your I, music, I, man, and love, bro. you have put us on so much game over the years. And I really have to say this: where we learned how to do all the businesses we were doing, everything we've done is always through music. Yeah. Through other people, Being we were just unpacking it. We were just talking about it because we're having a therapy session. Yeah, back we're there. having like a brother, like sort of. You know, you go through, you you go through moments in your life. You go through years in your life, mm -hmm. chapters. Exactly. And we were talking about how lucky we were. You know, we were talking about the kids. We were talking about life and how there's so many different versions that we could have ended up in, mm -hmm. and we're in a version of our life right now yeah. that we love. We we're surrounded by, but it comes from the artists that were that we watched. And we feel like you're a national treasure. I appreciate that. We feel like, you know, like I said, my, my, the, the best rapper alive. And for me, one of my favorite artists of all time. I appreciate that. And so to, and I think uh, kind of growing up with it, cause you know, I mean, I think we're a little bit older than you, a few years older than you, but I think we're in the same. But y'all would always show love in y'all music. Yeah. Yeah. If you yeah, go back to the yeah, records, yeah, you can, yeah, anybody sure. who knows can hear. <laughs> yes. You know, I told I was telling him I was remember I told him, like man I remember Birdman would be like Wayne what they said yeah and I'd be like no nah, they said that <laughs> that's exactly what they said yeah <laughs> man it was uh it was it was a special time for us to come into music but but um all the all those little references on the records that's that was love. that was us like we were fans man and, and when we were thinking love. about you know coming because we were when we when we came into the music industry. Mm -hmm. You know, our parents weren't involved. Okay. They weren't around. You know, yeah. our, we didn't have a sort of, you a know, backing. uncle or something. Yeah. You know, it was we had to learn everything on the fly. On the fly. You know, you signed stuff. You didn't really know what you were signing. What you're doing, yeah. You know, and you have to learn as you go, and you have to adapt mm -hmm. quickly. And, you know, when we when we think about, when you think Especially about... Especially when you come from nothing and any amount of money is actually... Everything. Everything, everything to mm -hmm. you. Everything. Trust me. In the right moment? Yeah. Everything. Everything. And you, you, as you go through each chapter, you really do have to, we're really lucky we've had each other because mm. you really do have to watch the game tape. Yeah, yeah, you do. You got to step back and yeah. you got to go, look, hey, what we did there, right? Yeah. That was marketing. Exactly. Or, hey, what we did there, that was this. Or what, we, or what we didn't do. What we didn't, what we didn't do. do, yeah. Yeah. Well, which play worked, which play didn't. Exactly. And you know? now being sort of 
you know, I'm saying we're not old, but like we're we're, we're, we're grown ups. We're timeless. It's timeless, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but we're grown ups, right? Yeah. We're are, we're now we in a real place in life. We're experience. Res- and we gotta yeah. be responsible for ourselves, man. Like, yeah. That's and that that just just that statement alone is our experience. That that yeah. that's the experience right there, knowing that we have to be responsible. Well, in yeah. your 20s, you don't care if you live or die at all. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You know, yeah. you know, and then you get into your thirties and you start going, okay, who, what kind of? Oh, man? I got some stuff to live for. Yeah, yeah. exactly. And now we're in our forties. <laughs> yeah, it's and awesome. It's too. the best. It's era. awesome. The yeah. best era. I was about to say yeah, it's to awesome. me. It's the best era. What? Best yeah, decade yeah. yet. I'm the hardest man. Yeah. yeah. Come on, man. Yeah. Very hard to fuck with. You feel me? Yeah. yeah. You feel me? So first of all, ladies and gentlemen, this is Joe and Benji from Good Charlotte. They're twins. You feel me? Quick adult twins, grown adult, adult men. Yes. <laughs> who's who's older? Five Ben's. minutes. Five minutes older. Yeah. Ben's five minutes older. Yep. <laughs> How do He's you the know boss. That? How do you know that? <laughs> the, oh, you know, mom it's told a, us it's folklore. Yeah. Yeah. Any any crazy any was there any crazy situations and during that? Because I was growing up. Now I'm talking about during the actual birth. Yeah, I was, I he, was there. He, he was he was uh. I was. He, he was I, they had to revive me like three times. Uh, yeah. I was the weak one. See. See, I so, was there for all, all. I was there for you. Were you there for the for the for the births of your kids? Yes, it's real the serious. The whole thing. It's real serious. It's, it's like crazy. that thing when people say like the greatest moment of your life, but you don't really know it until you're there. Until so you're there, and yeah. then it's the greatest moment of your life. What? And you go, oh, there it was. What? I saw it. Come yeah. on, man. Definitely you a tear. It. You definitely have a tear. My tears were from the pain of the actual squeezing of the hand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the, and yeah. the punching. Yeah, I was getting punched a little bit. Yeah. That's yeah. love. Yeah, oh yeah, love taps, yeah. you know. Yeah. <laughs> so, it's been five years since the last time y'all been on stage. Yeah, five long years. It felt like ten years, but yeah, it's been five years <laughs> time, since we. Time flies, though. Yeah. I can't imagine. Yeah. I can't. Im- five years. I I probably would go out there and run clean off the stage. <laughs> That's why we have beards now. We grew beards. <laughs> yeah. Any jitters? Were you worried about being back on stage? Are you ever worried about being on stage? I think I, my stomach hurt before every every performance, but I always tell myself it, in if, second. if it doesn't happen, if that doesn't happen, then something's wrong. Yeah, I just get a little focused and anxious in the yeah. right way. I think yeah, like exactly. I don't want to really be bothered too much, even though you're you know you're back there, you're interacting with people, mm-hmm. but you're just thinking about. Yeah. Because for me, it's hard sometimes to remember all the words. I don't oh, okay. know why. So yeah. I have to just get in a zone and then I remember them all. Gotcha. So um, yeah, I was all right. I was just a little anxious. Cool. Yeah. What about? You? I mean, I'm in a. I feel like I'm in a in a lucky position because I actually manage the band's business as okay. well, and oh, sh- and and so I'm. I, for me, I was more like the production elements, the, sure make everything sure everybody right. was on the guest list, <laughs> you know, all this stuff. And then I just know, and I knew we did all the work, we, you know, before we got out there. It's like playing a game, mm-hmm. you know. So we did all the work the week leading game up. Game plan is already yeah, put in already, place. All we got to do is mm-hmm. go out and execute, execute. it. Mm-hmm. But I do think that's a like, big ass crowd, though. Yeah, and I think what? that the, there's that little thousand. What? It was crazy. I ran out there and almost ran back. I almost yeah. ran back. No, I, was, I thought it was. They lost was their like, minds yeah. when you came out because no one knew. So it was it was crazy. Nah. Yeah, I mean was that was fun. that was the that was the, the b- most remembered moment of the festival. Nah, that whole thing was yeah. when he sent me the he sent me videos from the night before. Crazy. I was like, wait, what? I didn't even know this what it was. You know, I, no one yeah. explained to me what we was doing. I was just yeah. going, as long as I, all I knew was I'm going on stage with the homies. Man, that was epic, man. It was, that it was, was totally epic. I had people that I haven't talked to in a long time that hit me up just on the, what? You, man, I remember, and you know, of course, they go yeah. to what they remember. I was yeah. in such and such grade. We're not like, yeah, I know. Yeah. Okay, yeah. 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 And then they actually start putting our history, which, you know, your history with my, yeah. their, their remembrance of whatever, however the old they were when they first started banging, listening to me. And it was like, I remember I was into this. It was a good thing. Well, when you think thing. about it, only a few. That have have been doing it from you when already, we all started you know know that. can still go on and do that yeah. and have that kind of moment be what it is. You know, I know so that. I feel super grateful, blessed that we got to do that together. That's a blessing for us all. Yeah, it's a blessing for us all. Just the reality of what you just said. Yeah, yeah. and you know we pass we 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 cross paths real briefly through the years here and there, real quick reward show or something. Yeah, you course. know what I mean. Yeah, and, but to actually get to to do that, like for us, I mean that's what we were sitting around talking about, and we were talking about how. You know, look, a lot of people don't even realize, like, actually being in music, being an artist, 
You could actually put it up there with like one of the highest mortality rates Hell yeah. of come every on, profession. Come Ra- on. Race car drivers. Yeah. You know, all the when you think about like the history of music, yeah. when you think about like what, all the different ways you and can then, get got you, yeah. can, you know. And you, you know when you've been business. around long enough, you'll be around ten years and you're around twenty years. It's interesting you say that you when you say that you remind me of uh I just watched a fight the other day, uh Francis and Garner. Oh, and, yeah. And but before the fight they were, they did a rundown on Mike Tyson. And it and it was highlighting and it was um giving him props for how he lasted and throughout and he was such a, because he was one of the mega you know and they showed all the mega stars that they compared him with and every every other person they showed was is dead yeah yeah you know also and they were you, showing like how he was right there in their in their pinnacle with them doing what they, and he's still here so that was kind of cool. and when you look at through every like I said like every decade you're around not and not just like. Uh, and one of the things I love the three of us getting to sit here and talk yeah. is that we 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 are three people that have been through decades, of course, and didn't just survive it. Like we actually right. sit in the room and you're in the room with somebody who's present. We live it. We, we we live it. We're and not we're, just a shell. Of we're not exactly. a shell a of a human. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because sometimes you see people who survive. I know exactly what you mean. But they're just a shell. Somebody got to explain to you who they were. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, yeah. And, and, I know exactly and what you mean. They can't be present. They're disconnected from their life. And exactly. when we think about these great moments that we we got to share, you know, at that On festival, stage, exactly. you know, we get We're to still trade making stories. Memories. Yeah, yeah, and that's so, a blessing. Mm. So it's a it is a blessing. It's yeah. a blessing to be a, and then be able to you know meet younger artists and try to give them that what, part is the that part is amazing to me. Yeah, yeah giving the game coaching. Yeah, especially when you see they notice it when you see them yeah. pick it up and okay, like okay, you got it. You did pick that up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. that part is amazing. And yeah. it feels. I mean, it's nowhere near. But it's almost it's, it's it's almost up there when when you when you're teaching your kids something and you see them catch on. To it's it. almost yeah. yeah. It's it's one of the most fulfilling healing things you could ever do. It's coaching. Yeah, it's, it's especially when you love love what we do. So. Yeah. yeah. And so I did a milli. I did a milli when I came out there. Then I then I joined y'all for lifestyles of Richard Fame. That was yeah. epic. The crowd went crazy. They couldn't even believe I was singing it. No, they lost yeah. their minds. That's <laughs> when I I watched it back. That very the end the end. That that was my part, man. That we was end it. them up together. Come on, man. What? <sighs> anyway, it, was, it felt natural. That was eighty-five thousand people that screamed. Had to be a hundred. They oversold it. <laughs> what? The they had hell? to. They had to. <laughs> that is crazy. It felt like that. I'm going with a hundred. Y'all ever been in front of a crowd that big? Yeah. I've only I've only did it once, and it was uh, I want to say it was in Chicago. There was like ninety-two thousand, and it was I think it was like a. Like a new, like a Lollapalooza type yeah. of thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We did uh, uh, a few times. We played Rock'em Ring, Rock'em Park, which is like 100 and, uh, 120 or something. <laughs> yeah, 110, something 110, like that. something like that. Ooh. Yeah, it's a big, that's, I, I like to round up. There's yeah. a lot of people. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I did Riyadh, and that was like 70, 75,000. That's yeah. crazy. Yeah, but just me, so that was amazing for me. Yeah. And then it's Riyadh, you're like, do y'all know who I am? You know what I mean? Like, they, they do. Like, what, they showed me? Yeah. Yeah, and then yeah. they, the show out the the production, and they had they had like New Year's fireworks going off, and with no no I didn't rehearse or none of that, so I'm performing and you know explosions going off. I'm just trying to play like I knew it was gonna go. Like yeah. come on, wow. man, what? Do, got, do you feel like though? Do you guys kind of feel like once it hits like thirty or forty thousand people, it kind of like. 60, 70, 80, it all, it all just kind of feels, it's all just, feel, it's all just a lot. Same? Yeah. It's yeah. all just a lot of people. Nice, just a, yeah. <clears throat> but still, yeah. I try to still, with that said, I still try to touch every single soul in that room that night, regardless, in some sort of way. That's why you're special. In some sort of way. I try to be. I sure. think it's good, though, when you do those big crowds, because very, it's, it's not often, you know, you go through this music career and you have all these hits or you're on the charts or this or that. It's not often you see that many people in one place mm-hmm. that, the music actually hits them where like when you came out on stage, I saw it cause I was facing the crowd and the lights were kind of bright on the crowd. They're, they didn't even know how to compute. It was like a meme. It was like one of those. <laughs> <laughs> it was like one of those memes. They were just like, Oh, and uh, it, yeah, it was great. It, it, that kind of thing to see that firsthand to be standing next to you on stage. But then, I'm focused on me leading up to that point, point yeah. doing my my job or whatever. But then you come out and I'm just watching the crowd and I saw it in real time how much how much it blew their minds and then how much they enjoyed it. And then you kind of you get to see it in action all these people that have lived with your music Hell yeah. Hell for yeah. a long time getting to see you in person. It's a special thing to see that connection. 
I'm t- I was talking to you said when you say all those people that lived with the music. I was talking to someone recently about Mrs. Uh, uh, Miss Taylor Swift. Yeah. And so I was explaining to them, you know, they was like, man, she has a cult following. And I was like, well, someone had to explain to me. And so, and I, and I was like, and the story they told me, I would never forget it. No matter how many shows she would have, she would always round up 23 to 2,500 people for at the end of the show just to either, she's either like either to sign something, take a picture, but he was like, you know, I would stand next to her sometimes just to notice that he's like, she's never told us, no, never told one person the same thing. It's like, even if it was just, I like your nail color, it, the next person is not about to hear that. So he was like, so he was like, so if you're wondering, who are all these people that's going to these shows? Because I was wondering, I was like, bro, how is she doing these shows? 16, 17, 18, 19 in the same city, yep. selling out. He was like, well, if you're wondering who that, he was like, those are those kids, those are those 2,300, 2,500 people that was there in those different cities every night. They're all grown now. Yep. And they have their own kids now. Yep. And he was like, so that's, so that's, who, that, that's who that is. And I was like, it made a lot of sense whole lot of sense so when you say people that lived with our music you can see it there i do i see the same thing it's that, true yeah that real it's a real like grassroots thing yeah you know? yeah they those yeah. like literally grow up with yeah. it yeah yeah and they 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 go through so you know they they compare the experiences in life to yours as well and they feel like you know we go through the same things and that also it reminds them that you're human well that's the thing is music raises all of us exactly and so we may be from different places we may have different experiences but the lens you put on something, when I listened to the song as a young guy, I was taking what I needed out of it. Mm. Because at the time, we weren't going to therapy. Mm-hmm. We weren't, I didn't even know about therapy until I was 32 okay. years old. Yeah. So I, I, I didn't have the, the... So music was how I got all my information. I looked at someone that I admired. I started modeling. Somebody you vibe with where you go. Yeah, yeah. I like their, their, I like their they can take speak on for life. Me. Exactly. Yeah. And I start modeling after them. I would say like... It was mostly hip hop, some rock guys, but we were always in- interested in building businesses. Mm. And it, it seemed to be in hip hop, everybody was an entrepreneur. Mm-hmm. And so we were raised by entrepreneurs through their music. And that's how we, we modeled our whole life after it. And then you're also seeing how people deal with loss, seeing how people deal with pain, mm-hmm. seeing how people. But the other thing I loved about hip hop was it always empowered me and made me feel it like, was aspirational yeah you go for it right you don't just sit at home and exactly. cry about it exactly you and get up you and, gotta do something and i think we were at a time when we came out in a, in a sort of a scene where we came into where it wasn't quite cool or 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 acceptable to be aspirational you mm. almost had to be smaller than you were so mm. you had to be indie or you had to be and uh, we yeah, were always thinking we want to be big definitely. we want to live aspirational we want to buy our mama house we mm-hmm. want to you know uh, we want to, and I think that's why we always sort of tried to live aspirational. Exactly. We wanted to drive big cars. Exactly. We wanted to, not because we were trying, we, I felt like when I go into, uh, when I pull up to a store, when I go somewhere and a kid comes out and goes, man, I love your car, or, man, I love your chain or, or, or whatever it is. To me, that's exactly that's what doing it what for. it's supposed that's to be. That's what doing. it was for. Inspire. Exactly. exactly to inspire what yeah. I was, what I was trying to get, exactly. you know, at when we were younger, just exactly. trying to be aspirational, yeah. you know? And I think we, uh, that's why I would say, listen to, if you, th- if you think about some of your old records and, and, and Birdman too, like when you think about, there's actual like business acumen oh, being put in the record definitely. that kids are listening to being, how becoming, to business. becoming yeah. entrepreneurial, yeah. you know what I mean? And, and uh, we love, I mean. Definitely. You know. I mean, it was it shaped the whole culture of what you guys yeah. are saying. It shaped the whole, just me coming up under him, seeing how they, how he do it. How, it was, obviously, it was no other way I'm going to do it. Right. And so, therefore, me having people, thank God, looking up to me and just noticing that now you have to be, you have to get your own stuff. You have to get your own shit and branch out and help your people out. And you have to get your, I mean, baby made Wayne, baby, Wayne made Drake, and that, you, that was that became a thing. So now you can't find a rapper that ain't got their own damn record label. Yep. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like who you signed to? It, it became a now you, like you said. Now it's a thing. They got rappers that just totally I ain't signed nobody but myself. Yep. You know what I mean that that didn't even exist. It's important. What what, what was that when we was coming yeah. out? You signed yeah. to yourself. What does that mean? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It, it's important. It's actually important. That's why we like to sit around and unpack stuff because it's actually important to like articulate like yo, that what we was, do there, that, what, what we did there, there, what he did there, mm. what we do there. You know, and because at the same time, we always think like it's kids listening. Yeah, hell yeah. 
that are that have nothing. They're yeah. starting from less than zero. And you just think when you're in that spot, it's possible. All mm. I need is that say All is here it's possible. possible. Exactly. That's it. Exactly. I that's, don't need anything else. I just beyond, need to know it's possible. That's beyond that's almost like telling me is it's gonna happen. It's yeah. about to happen. That's it. Yeah. I know yeah. exactly yeah. that feeling. Don't let us get our foot in the door. <laughs> what is it? It's my house. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> like you, you were speaking about the hip hop. I, that, I heard the hip hop heavy influence in, in y'all music wave from the beginning and shit. So, who in particular? Uh, my favorite, our favorite growing up that we really shared. We we loved Cash Money, we loved Master P, yeah. No Limit. Yeah. I was like, he was one of my heroes entrepreneurially. And, um, my God, I was about to say yeah. when you say entrepreneur. I was about to say when it comes to entrepreneur, that yeah. man, what he. It, so we love I, I love that uh i was so huge into bone thugs and harmony oh me too i feel see. like they didn't get enough like, i was i was a big huge huge i, like, I wrote I know every I word wrote, i was about to say yeah every i wrote record. every exactly I every, every word, word of every down. record yeah i would write it down just to read it back and i would read it back and look at the person who said it to and, and i would feel like i'm finding finding out about this is this is how you this is the type of person you are yeah i love i love the outcast uh yeah, a big course, outcast on, yeah. um andre 3000 i just always looked up to him as a as an artist uh who else i mean i mean everything everything you know dre and snoop mm -hmm. i mean what, yeah. you know i loved easy e love yeah. tupac i was an easy fan yeah big yeah. time love easy e. yeah love yeah. easy love tupac of course, yeah. Uh, and I think for for us in rock music, uh, when we were coming, I think there was a confidence that rock music lacked, mm. and we were coming from a low self esteem place, mm. and we really needed some confidence. Mm. We really needed some some and personas. You, and y'all music was very, like you said, aspirational and motivational and confident, confident. confident. Yeah, and we needed that. Yeah. We needed that. You know, to think we needed to portray it at least until we got it, until we could find it. You yeah, know, because exactly. if you think you're worth nothing. You know, are you not sure if you're worth anything? But yeah. you want to be worth something. Exactly. You really want to be. You gotta. You gotta believe it yeah, and go you, for it. You want to be important. So you know, you think about it. So now, what we spend all our time doing, we have a uh, artist development management company. Uh, That's dope. We have a. Uh, so we have a, a streaming platform called Beeps, which is when you think about premium live stream concerts, right? We're number one. Uh, it's essentially we're building MTV for the for the for the sort of. You know, age. Apple age. Gotcha. You know what I mean? Gotcha. So, so, um, so that, and then, and then we have a media company. And so we spend all of our time now investing in things that we think are going to be a positive sort of, uh, contribution to so what's the what industry going to yeah. look like. And also to be, uh, artists who are at the table having the conversation, you know what I yeah. mean? At the table having, you yeah. know, in the mix on like, what's the, what's the industry? How are we shaping it? You exactly. know? And, uh, and that desire, when we think back to like, you know, all the artists we just named and we think about all the records and we think about like where we were coming from, um, we wanted to make an impact. Of and we, 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 when you, when you have, when you're coming from zero and you go like, can I? I want to make an impact. Mm -hmm. I want to be somebody who can who can make influence, like exactly. you know, things in a good way. Uh, I mean, it just it really does just start with the desire. Mm -hmm. So now we have these like companies yeah, that, that are actually that has like, to be you. That has to be yeah. yeah that has to be you. Like you just you have to at least yeah. just have the desire, want to, want to, want to yes. think maybe I can do it. And like we said, if yeah. if you tell me it's possible, yeah, that's all I need. That's all you need. Yeah. That's it. That's a great thing. Yeah, that's a great thing. I mean, obviously, giving you giving you giving back. Yeah. Well, but it's healing for us too because I think we when we think about like where we were where we were we were when we came in and what we learned for the first 15 years. Exactly. We just go, okay, can we have a company that's helping develop artists that is who we wish we had? Hmm. Yeah, can we right. be the guys can we, we wish we would have met? Mm -hmm. And also I think I don't know if you've ever had a moment like this in your career, but I have. At one point I remember there was a there was a point maybe it was like 2011 2012 where the whole game had changed mm -hmm. and they were like it's over records don't sell no more streaming is just <laughs> yeah. at the beginning yeah. if you you know I had error. if you was an artist if you was an artist coming it's over. up you, you had that moment it's over yeah. oh yeah and I remember also like the style had changed and we yeah. had just gone through like an 11 year run that was great but then you had that down moment mm -hmm. and I didn't. I wasn't old enough at the time to look back at everything we'd accomplished and 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 own it and go, well, look what we've accomplished. Now we need to get back to the drawing board, look at where we're at. I think it was a moment where I felt like 
I had failed. Mm. Everything was was lost. Mm -hmm. And that's when we started all these companies. It was the beginning anyways, about eight, nine years ago. Uh, we, we, but that it was that moment where we sat down and we were like, okay, let, let's, let's build something. Mm -hmm. And we started down that road. Two years later, we started the management company. Then we started the streaming platform. Then we bought a magazine that turned into a bunch of other magazines. It, so that's the media that. company. So we start building these things and we found, I think, a real mission. Mm -hmm. And we stopped looking at how we were doing, if we're successful or not, because we were focused, focused on that. Yeah. Just like we were new artists again. Exactly. And I was, uh, and I always think about, I love sports. And, and the Nganu fight is a great example, right? Yeah. Like, he did amazing. <laughs> I, he, I was like, and, and you know what? I love Francis Ngannou. Yeah. One, in fact, one of the last fights uh, in the UFC, mm -hmm. the big thing on the fight, I'm trying to remember who it was, but the big thing on the fight was he can't wrestle. Mm -hmm. And he came into that fight yeah. and he took him down three times. Three times, yeah, I remember that, yeah. And mm -hmm. that's that's him, right? Yeah. That's a guy, like, don't count him don't out. Count Tell him out. he can't do Tell something. Tell him exactly what you know? I can't do and that'll be exactly and, what I do and more. And yep. I'm going to turn around and put in the work. And yeah. I think, like, when we think about our career, because um, we've never been number one. We've always been at the podium. Number three, number mm. two, number mm. four. And I really, really love that. Like, I feel like we, our career is a series of us getting back up. Mm. So, and I love the, when you think about great fighters, when you think about great movies, great mm -hmm. sports movies, and it, you think it's about- It's not a movie, it's not a good story without- It's the guy, exactly. the guy who gets back yeah. up and you keep saying, yeah, get back up one yeah. more time, you know? And yeah. and I think we've always told each other that, you know, like- Well, we're lucky we have each other though. Yeah, yeah. sure. Yeah. And I think in that, if you, if you think back to that period before, before like, you know, Apple was what it was before mm -hmm. all the streaming had really taken shape and it was all changing over. Yeah. And you, and you know, when you come, when you come into the music business in 98, 99, yeah. it's a whole, a whole that's different. A, you already know. It was in, not this. It was nowhere near with even the times you're talking, it was so different. And now we could argue about all the things that are better. We yeah. could argue about all the, all the access and all the things that now, if you think about a kid making music right now in their Room, in the room and can put it out right now more and, of a possibility than ever mm -hmm. and and now there's a lot more traffic too exactly. they gotta get they have to be ex you have to be excellent to be excellent are uh, you are uh, excellent in your way to to a certain amount of people but know? it's amazing to get to live yeah. through the different we waves like, different yeah, incarnations yeah, different and eras, every different every eras. areas and and, and sometimes and you see be, and to still be like you said earlier, and not be a shell about ourselves, so yep. to, to actually be aware of what's going yeah. on, not just be lights on, no yeah. one's home. and to realize you know. you're you are actually this is a sport you can play a long time. Exactly, you are faster, smarter. I, when you came in uh, before the show, and we ran that at the in yeah, yeah, at the, the rehearsal, the rehearsal space. Rehearsal. First of all, I was like, I was amazed that you were even going to come and spend the time with us to get it right. That's all I love. Right. But then you came in and you did it, and I said, I was like, you know, when you think someone's the greatest, but then you see them in action, and you go, yeah, no, why is the greatest? I appreciate yeah. that. I appreciate freestyling, that. doing, I mean, nailing every part. I was well, it's just that like, thing. damn, it's, man, it's the championship ring thing. It's a dude is good in the gym. Before, dude you know, is good. Yeah. First and one also, in the gym, last one out. Yeah. Also, like you were saying, when you love it, though. Yeah. Like I totally, I don't know nothing else. Like you know, what I mean, like yeah. I love it, literally love yeah. it. Everything about music, so. Us too. Yeah, exactly. That's yeah. the way it's supposed to be. You know what I really appreciate? I love it when I get the opportunity, and uh, I have this with my wife. I get to be with her every day. When you get the opportunity to, to be around somebody who does something at the highest level. Mm. Of course. You know? And of so course. when we're on stage together, yeah. it's it it always confirms thoughts and, 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 and sort of feelings you have about someone. Mm. When you go, I have an instinct that that person is this mm. or that way mm -hmm. and it confirms it and you go of course they are mm. of course they are but when you get to share a space or spend any limited amount of time or uh, however much time around with, with greatness with, with, with someone people who great. do something at a very high level and you know it. it's incredible and you know it. because you can you yeah. can see it what well, they make it look easy yeah. they make it look you know but there's a there's a feeling to it Man, exactly it's, it's i know exactly what you're talking right. about yeah um this, i get that same i, I work with wyclef a lot yeah, and you know, dude is, you know, he literally he's an innovator, prolific. You know, you know like he's prolific. Type, yeah, he's the type of guy, and ain't type, ain't just music. You know, he's the type of guy you could give a piece of paper and a rock, and he's coming back with a car. Yeah, he's, a, <laughs> you know, he's, he's an, an alchemist. Yeah, he comes yeah. back with a with, yeah. with gold, something more valuable. Gold. Exactly. So yeah. 
being around, I know exactly what you mean. So when I'm around him, I just respect every second of it. And being yeah. around people who who have the 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 ability of whatever's going on in here to shift culture, to shift genres, to mm. bend genres, to shape to, culture, to shape, yeah. to shape culture, to, to paint shape a mood. picture, and the entire culture takes that picture and, it's and it becomes the culture. And it also lasts forever. And it lasts forever. Yeah. yeah. That's why Some I was saying timeless. Shit. That's why I was saying timeless. Yeah. yeah times I tried to I love it. all the artists. I live for it. Every single artist to, to, that's what you try to try to be timeless. Try to be timeless. You don't want you want to be able to go on stage forever. Yep. Forever. And, and you know we try to tell this as well to 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 younger artists when we get the chance to talk to them is that the instinct that you wake up with of just like I want to do that. That's, that that that's would the that, right that would be cool. That's the instinct because it does. Once it becomes a business, yeah, you have all these people that are great. By the way, they're trying to bring more function to it. They're mm. trying to scale it with you. They're trying to help you. You know, um, but it can sometimes get in the way of, of the course. instinct yeah. in just the process of trying to bring the functionality to mm. it. Like, how are we going to go do 150 shows this year and do X Y Z? Blah 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 blah. The artistic vision of it is that first feeling you have and say, I think it would be cool if I did this. Mm. And the, that's your compass. That's the compass. And and if you can get if you can quiet everything else and go, okay, I I do need the 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 function. I need to we need to be able to scale this thing. We need mm. to be able to go out and gotta and, be an organization. We gotta be an organization. But I need that to stay out of the studio. Mm. And I need that I need the studio to be my where I'm a little kid, where mm -hmm. I'm just painting. Exactly. You know, and I think uh it's important that to to call that out because uh, that's where the the culture shaping happens. Exactly. You know. Exactly. And that's the that's a that's a fine line, right there. It's a too. fine line. Yeah, because if you're able to do that, then you're actual you're you're actual you're artist. You're an artist. You're an artist. Yeah. yeah, in every bit of every sense of the word. Yeah. Yeah. I got a question. Yeah. Um, I noticed just being around you for a few days. Um, it is impossible for you to go anywhere without everyone like losing their minds, freaking out, getting excited, wanting to come up, wanting to say hi, is that, wanting to show you love, yeah, yeah. wanting to get a look. Is it really him? Yeah. How do you manage that in your everyday life? I don't go places. Right. I don't go places. And I have no urge to. So that's the best part. So when I tell people, when I tell people that, you know, they'd be like, but I got to be the worst. Like, well, no, I'm a loner. I mean, I don't, I don't like right. to, I like to stay in my, with I'm my, my studio, whatever. I'm, so that's one way. Yeah. And so because it's, that's the truth, when I am going somewhere and people are coming up to me, it's so rare that I'm I'm embracing. You got the energy, right? You yeah. can give them and more. I, exactly. Right. Yeah. So so you insulate you insulate yourself from it, and then that way you have the gas tank to go out and be gas tank to enjoy. Yeah. It because it, man, yeah. you I mean, every person in the entire building wants to say hi they want to you know what i mean yeah I, we, we talked about it i was like man i i don't know how someone could manage that energy all the time i mean i i see it a lot with, with uh my father-in-law mm -hmm. with lionel he yeah. he's i think he's the same way he gives everything when he's in the room mm -hmm. he will talk to everyone he'll yeah. take a picture yeah. and say hi very friendly everybody's showing him love but then i do notice like he he also can't go too many places because mm -hmm. it yeah. it it's a lot of work. It's not even, it's a, a, lot of not work. even a possibility sometimes. Right. Yeah. yeah. When I tell people, when people ask me things, like when I say, they're like, you've never been to where? I was like, no, I've never been, like, you know, like Disneyland, Disney right. World, anything, something like that. They'd be like, you've never been? Like, no, I've never been. And I'm like, when they think about it, like, they're like, you know what? How could you go? Yeah, you have to measure. Yeah. If I'm going to go here, I got to be able to give to everybody. Exactly. And it's not just from a... It's beyond the music scene now. Oh yeah, you so already know that. So it's not just hip hop fans. You already know that. It's global. You already know that. It's yeah. old people, young people, yeah. everyone in between. And you already know when it comes to fans, the last thing they have is understanding. Yeah. Yes. So you gotta. You have to understand that. Yeah. Understand. <laughs> yes. That's yeah. that's the reality. That's of the it. reality yeah. of it. Yeah. You gotta understand that they don't care about nothing human. I respect nothing. that. I, I gained a lot of respect <laughs> watching you move. The way you the way you move is 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 uh it's classy. I appreciate that. Yeah, man. Appreciate it's not easy. That. Yeah, you know, it's interesting, man, because like even Cameron, like she actually didn't make a movie for ten years because she was like, I just want to be a mom, and the I only way imagine. I'm gonna be able to be a mom, I can imagine. It's like she doesn't want every time she goes somewhere. 
for it to be all about her. Mm -hmm. She wants to be right here with us. She wants to just be, Chill. you know, and, and, and I think it takes like, you haven't, you, you found a way to like, you didn't, where you didn't have to retreat away from everything, which gotcha. by the way, she didn't retreat. I think she was, she, you know, she's making movies. Again, you want, you know? yeah. Yeah, yeah. But, but it, watching it, when you see somebody do it with a lot of heart, it's incredible. Yeah. That's it. yeah. It's admirable. It's also, you know, and it's a, it's a, like I told you, it's a reminder of self tick or whatever that is real. Yep. Yep. You know what I mean? It's, it's totally real. Because I told you the moment, the, the moment I feel like I'm tired, too tired to whatever, the moment my stomach don't hurt before yeah. it's time to go on stage, then we, it's there's a to, problem. It's, yeah, we need yeah. to figure yeah. something else yeah. out. Yeah. 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 And I haven't had, and my stomach still hurt. The, the human Everything. part. It's all, all of it's still the same. So yeah. I know it's still real. It's a couple Maryland boys up in here right now. Did y'all think the Orioles was going to do it this year? You know, I did think the Orioles. I wanted them to. Yeah, because they was looking. They, you know, they ran really hot all the way to the end of yeah. the of the regular season, and then you know, I think it was almost like maybe that break they got cold in that break. Mm. But it was disappointing. There was three and out. I it love was, it though because after how many, how long, like it was twenty fourteen since they won the yeah, it been a the the, the uh, division, but um, but. It has been a long time since, like, it's you know. It's been a long time since they, like, you know, they was usually being laughed at. So just yeah. to see them relevant oh, like man. that was awesome. And, and it's also such a young team. Think about it. I think it's a $61 million salary. What? Payroll. That sounds like the uh, the the A's. Yeah, but yeah, I <laughs> but, mean when you win, I think the yeah, Mets were exactly, three. Yeah. I think the Mets were three hundred and fifty million. Yeah. You know, we think about the for Mets, nothing. the Yankees, the for Angels. Nothing. So the Orioles are looking good for the next. I mean, that's a young team. Yeah, if they can yeah. keep these young guys. I love the there. Orioles. Yeah. I got it tattooed on my hand. <laughs> yeah. I got them tattooed on me, too. So, <laughs> love the Orioles. I like the Dodgers, too, though. You like the Dodgers? I do. Why? Mookie Betts. Okay, yeah, Mookie. That's the that's my on, favorite that's the baseball player. Yeah, Mookie's the homie. Of all time. Mookie's the homie. I was, I was, I'm, a, I'm a Boston Red Sox fan, so I was obviously heart was shattered it? when he left. It's crazy, that Yeah, much. but... He still don't, he came right here. He's still the homie though. He helped um, my, my my son Cameron plays baseball. Okay, my son Sparrow plays baseball. Dope. He Mookie had him come out one time on a um, batting to they, they call him the batting guru. Yeah, this this guy. He, Mookie invited us. With That's him, big. And it was real. It was. That's big. I haven't Cameron haven't forget haven't forgotten a, a word that was said that day. Need to have I. As, as a matter of fact, Mookie when we pulled up there. It was Mookie and actually JT, Justin Turner. That's when Turner was still with the Dodgers. Yeah. And Turner was there seeing the guy as well. So when we got there, it was just Turner and the guy. They was literally watching uh, a television, like a, literally like a small zenith. Yeah. And it was like, and like real. Old school. Yeah. And, and it was watching frame by frame, you know, literally like. Yeah. I was like, wow. There was, and he was, the man was just telling him, like, see right here, right here. And so when he, when Cam got in there, he just asked Cam. He asked Cam, "Has he ever swung a golf a, a golf um, as, as a golf stick before?" And he said, "No, but he's like, let me see you swing if you did." And so when he did, he showed him swing. He said, "Okay, now imagine the ball." So you, he's like, "See, you imagine." He said, "Now let's pick the tee up. Pick the tee up a little higher." He said, "Still, but you're still swinging golf. You're still gonna swing it like you're swinging for a golf ball." And so when he swung, he was like, "See, that's your swing right there." He's like, "That's the strike zone right there." He's like, you, "He's like, that's gone every time." So just small things like that. And Cam, we both ain't for. We never forgot that. How old's Cam? How old is he? And Cam is fourteen. Uh oh, same age. Yeah. Same age as Sparrow. Yeah. So eighth grade. Yeah. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Sparrow plays. Mookie's his favorite. He became, was, me and Sparrow. He loves the Dodgers. I love the Orioles. So we have a nice. I get to root for the Dodgers. He roots for the Orioles for me. <laughs> yeah, we go for the Dodgers. It's different, yeah. you know. And so we've been going to Dodger games as soon as he got into baseball. Yeah. We started going to Dodger games. And Mookie is his favorite player of all time. Mookie, G. so Mookie and he's a pretty G. serious. Baseball I just player. saw Mookie at the game. Me and Cam was at the Laker game when Mookie came hollered at us too. Yeah, yeah. baseball is <laughs> baseball is great. It's it's cool uh, watching your kid play. I mean, it's, it's yeah. You but are, you're a Red Sox fan. Yeah, yeah. How'd that happen? I just um um what's my man name uh Pedro. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah that um, big poppy, that team, that whole that squad that year, I was hooked. Just got you. Yeah, I was yeah. going after that. Yeah. And then also he they showed me love as well. They show a whole lot of love. But the Astros, man, the Astros just showed me so much love recently. 
I, I, man, they showed me too much. Like they bought me a piece. I got a, a iced That's out crazy. World Series pendant. That's crazy, man. What? Are See, you a I fan? Think, personally, I think you're allowed to have more than one team. I, like I feel like I'm a fan. Yeah, yeah, but they real fans of my of me. Like you know, like, it was when I got to meet them. They was had their own stories. You know what I mean? Like you know, they got Bregman from LSU. Yep. You know what I mean? There was all the McCullough, Lance was the main one. Lance is my he the one main one. He came to the show, he gave me the piece. I went to the I went to a game and then they got Mr. Reggie Jackson working over there. Yeah. 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 And me and me and Reggie, we talk a lot. He 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 Mr. Reggie liked the stunt. He sent he literally sent me a video today and was like, You gotta top this. I didn't know what it was. It was just him standing by a Rolls Royce. <laughs> you gotta get a bigger Rolls Royce. <laughs> he was I, I guess he was telling me I got he has an it looks like a super old Rolls Royce, like, you know, like it costs a zillion dollars. I cannot beat it, Mr. Reggie. So as far as music, any new music coming out, what are we doing? We definitely will do some new music. Okay. I'll tell you here right now. Yeah. Okay. Um, we have, which we haven't said anything to anyone. We haven't, I mean, so for us, we looked at that show that we did together mm -hmm. as sort of like us sort of coming back out and waving, yeah. and waving to everybody. And right. I think, but we kind of feel like new music, if we do any more tour dates or anything, we got to do it right. Mm -hmm. So... We're we're getting. Into I don't that now. know that you'll ever. I don't know that we'll ever do a ton of tour dates ever again. I think it, it'll be if we do twenty shows, it's special shows. If oh, we yeah. do thirty shows, everything we're doing from now on's got to feel like limited edition. Mm. Um, uh, so that every time we put a tour out or we put music out, it's got to feel like it's it's limited. Hell yeah! I mean, the Stones just put out a new album. Yeah, yeah. come on, man. Yeah, we're just yeah. the, the Stones just put out a new album. Man. Yeah, come we're on. working on it. We're working on it. Yeah, we gotta we gotta. I mean, we got to talk about a collab, so. What? Come yeah. on. Ain't yeah. even a question, yeah. man. I'm yeah. here. I'm yeah. here. This is what so, I do. Yeah, but, but but I'd say next year. Next year. Yeah. Hell yeah. We'll, yeah. we'll tell you first. I'll be, I know. Yeah. I'll be on the song, yeah. so I'll be on yeah. the single, so I already know. Yeah. Yeah. So there you got it, man. We got new music coming next year featuring myself, the third twin, Tunchi. <laughs> the third twin. <laughs> yeah. The smart like a, one. <laughs> <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, man, these are my bros, man, Benji and Joe Madden. Good Charlotte. This was amazing. I hope y'all learned something. I hope you loved everything. And I hope you know something. Again, Young Money Music, Young Money Radio on Apple Music. Appreciate y'all time. Thanks for having Thanks, us. Wayne. Love.